medalist in the 2008 Olympics and 2012. Yeah, he's experienced, and uh, they're both similar styles in that they're switch hitters. The Samba can box as an orthodox, actually boxing as a southpaw now, but he's a good orthodox boxer. But so is Sonny Edwards, um, very skillful and talented indeed. But this is a test um, for Edwards because the Samba can punch a bit, John. So, talent, of course. Sonny's now been a professional since 2016. He hasn't fought since December the 21st. So, a long time out of the ring. He'll be glad to be back. Now ranked number six in the world rankings by the IBF. And based in Sheffield, trained by Grant Smith. So, you'll hear some cracking Sheffield accents in that corner. Oh, that was nice there from the first round. But uh, he's on the ball, definitely Edwards, because he's in and out with the feet. He's waiting for the odd mistake that's made by a somber. Just staying on the outside, just taking a look at his opponent here. Probably done enough to edge it, but there's not a lot in the round, John. No, interesting, as we thought it would be. This is our principal undercard fight between Sonny Edwards on the front foot here and Thomas Asomba. You give that opening round to Sonny. Richard. Yeah, just, just nicked it, demained it as a double jab um, right hand, but it was actually a double jab left hand that went in from um, Sonny Edwards. It was very impressive indeed. He recognised the situation and just stepped on the gas. He scored lovely. Somba's been a pro now since 2014, and as you heard, he's got that long amateur record. He was one of the, a number of Cameroon boxers who effectively defected after the 2012 Olympics, went and faced himself initially up in the Sunderland area. Managed by Phil Jeffries, but now switched to the black country. What Edwards will have to watch out for here, John, is he's scoring well now with his jab, he's boxing well at range, but because his hands are so low, sometimes he scores uh, very well, but as he's coming away, then his hands can be a little bit too low. And that's where a Somba might catch Edwards. He's got to watch what he's doing here, Edwards, when he moves in and he catches a Somba with some good shots. As he's moving out, he's either got to go out at a different angle or he's got to keep his guard up because this fellow will pounce as Edwards moves away. See, there he is. That's just a typical example there, but he just blocked that shot. Frank Warren Edwards, promoter, hoping, of course, that his man can move up to world level and that there could be a world title shot before too long. Somber, though, will have very different ideas. Oh, well, that, that's just a bit of class there from Edwards. You see him in the LA pull back, but he actually come back then as a, as a southpaw. He was actually boxing as an orthodox boxer, but as he came out of the exchange, he switched his feet around. It's quite dangerous to do that, but he's very skillful, and he caught him then as a southpaw. That, that's good skill, that is. but not too far away with that big overhand right. He was really launching himself into that. Sharp left-hand lead from Sonny Edwards. And there was that Sheffield accent I was telling you about from his trainer, Grant Smith, talking about the left hook where he could catch him low. Yeah, Grant Smith, good trainer. And his son, Dalton Smith, a former GB boxer, very talented boy indeed. But again, they've got a great stable up in Sheffield. Good boxing people. Proper city. He's not having a bad round here, Sonny Edwards. Two rounds completed. And the man... Edwards maintaining concentration, composure, boxing well to this point. So 12 round of this one, we move into the third. Plenty of lateral movement from Edwards. Uh, 
Sonny reputedly went up to 10 stone 7 during lockdown, so he's had to lose a fair lump to get back into shape. 8 stone 2 now. Good stuff again from Edwards. Just using the foot feints, you see, John. He did two foot feints there, just stamp the foot down, and the Somba then thinks the attack's coming, and that just drew a Somba then to throw the shot, and uh, and then Sonny comes back then with the counter. It's clever boxing. He's just experimenting there with that that foot that foot feint. Somba had been fighting out of southpaw stance in the first couple of rounds. Now switched to orthodox. Set a different problem leading off with the left hand. Yeah, one of his problems are somber is his feet, John, are just a little bit too slow, so he's waiting. He's got fast reactions of somber and he's got fair power. He's a decent boxer, but his feet are very flat, so he's flat footed. And that's why Edwards is taking advantage of that with that movement. He's in and out, he's side to side, and that, that's what's causing problems for a somber. He just can't get to grips with the movement of Edwards. Look, see, just too far out there. Going over there almost like a matador and a bull. A Samba rushing at a non-existent target by the time he got there. Such good balance, Sonny Edwards. He can't afford to get complacent. No, he can't. That's, that's the key here, complacency, because he's boxing very well at the moment, but he's got to keep, keep doing this and keep the concentration levels very high. Because there's a little clip you see from a Somba. This, this guy's a dangerous man indeed. But Edwards, at this point, he's boxing very well. He's a hard man, a Somba, and the pace at which he's fighting is not taking so much out of him, so he's going to remain dangerous. few seconds of the third where Edwards once again has had the advantage in boxing skills and in the number of punches landed with this IBF international super flyweight belt boxing very sweetly yeah he's, he's trying things isn't he and he's boxing very well counter punching his movement at the moment everything's going his way but there's a long way to go three out of three Richie yep yeah? I think so yeah I thought the first round was pretty close but I thought Edwards nicked it but the second and third round for me, yeah, he's, he's boxed very well indeed and has won those two rounds as well. But as we always say, and people saw in another place last week, it only takes one. Somber clipped by the left hand as Edwards again uses decent footwork to get away from that rushing attack. Yeah, it wasn't a bad attack there from a Somber, but he's got to try and keep it going. So, you know, a two phase attack maybe or sustain the pressure a little bit more. But while Edwards is boxing from the center of the ring, you see, John, when he's got full control of the ring space, then he's very difficult to beat indeed. You've got to try and get him back to the ropes and restrict the movement a little. But at the moment, like I say, um, he's boxing very well, and, and I think he's boxing very comfortable at the moment, Edwards. Well, one or two people around the sport who thought that a Somba could turn out to be a bit of a banana skin for Sonny Edwards, and uh, one or two eyebrows raised when he was selected as the man who was going to be facing him tonight, but so far Edwards doing what's required. Well, it would be a potential banana skin if Edwards was to just hold his feet and trade with him because that brings a Somba right into it. But you box to your strengths and the movement at the moment for Sonny Edwards, it's working for him. You see, now, now a Somba has a chance to land a couple of shots if Edwards boxes like this. Edwards pulling him on and tying him up. The referee has to split them. A little bit of blood on the face of Sonny Edwards. You can see when he just turns around, there may have been a clash of heads when they got in close. 
sun is back to us since uh, I thought I caught a glimpse of just a little red smear maybe over the right eye. So a little bit more of a competitive round here because Edwards has just slowed those feet slightly and he's, he's, he's trading, taking his opponent and he's doing very well. I mean, you know, he's a box of tricks, he's Sonny Edwards, but he can stand and trade as well. And like I say, it just gives a somber a chance to land the odd shot here and there. Well, maybe there is a maybe there is a nick on the face of Sonny Edwards, but it's nothing significant. Oh, good right hand, right. The beard, another interesting addition to Sonny Edwards. He really does look about 15 if you took the facial hair away. But he has to carry an ID card if he <laughs> yeah. strays away from the uh, punishing training regime. A somber not really producing anything to give him any real encouragement so far but having said that he's not been hurt no he hasn't i mean he's been out boxed but uh, he hasn't been hurt john like i say just a little bit too flat-footed oh that's good and again switching the attack to the body and getting a little purr of approval from the corner yeah just as you thought a somber was just then Sonny Edwards just steps on the gas, doesn't he? Very quick acceleration in, in the feet and with the hands. Good body shot. Back to the movement again. And like I said before, it's the movement that is the problem for Somba. He really is struggling to cut the ring space off and to, to with a big punch. It's a very nice, smart performance from Sonny Edwards so far. Nice chopping right hand there as he used good footwork to. You know, there's a disparity in class between these two, but Asomba is a decent boxer. Edwards just, as Richie's saying earlier, playing to his strengths, so he's got to maintain this though for the full 12 rounds, maybe. So Asomba just made that mistake there, throwing that as, as a safe ball, throwing that left hand, then his feet come across, his feet second, and just got caught on the switch. As he's switching stances. Well, I suppose he's got to try stuff. He's not doing too bad in this round, the Somba. You just see Harold Johnson there in the corner saying, let your hands go. So he well, he's got to do that, that to throw more punches. He's going to find more scoring shots than he has done so far. What he has to do, John, is get the timing right, especially when Edwards... Um, goes to attack good from a Somba. He's, like I say, it's all about timing. Catching Edwards as he's coming in, and then trying to catch it on the way out, and on the way out as well. Does give a fighter encouragement though, the way he fights, the way he boxes with his hands held. Close around that fifth round, but Edwards still taking the fifth, would you say, Richie? No, I actually thought a Somba, that was a Somba's best round, John. I thought he, he gave it to yeah, him, yeah, I gave him, gave him the round. Okay. glimpses of uh, what he should be doing and he cut the ring space off a little bit better landed a couple of good left hands but uh, uh, Sonny Edwards if you watch the way he boxes he's very talented indeed and and if anything he I think he'll have one set of tactics in his head as he's going into the contest but he chops and changes and he's one of those rare boxers that just deals with the situation and the, with the opponent in front of him he'll go orthodox he'll go south for i mean he didn't start off with the movements in this contest but he's, he's practiced he's experimented and he now he now knows that the movement is, is giving the, his opponent a lot of problems and like i say he's one of those rare boxers that just adapts to the style in front of him and then applies the right tactics. He's, he's talented, he And hasn't been clipped too hard yet by Asomba, who is a sharp puncher, but he's not been able to put Edwards in any sort of real trouble so far. He's trying to double up on the jab there. But Edwards aware of it, cute to it. Complacency will be his biggest problem in a lot of these contests, John, because uh, 
you know, 12 rounds is a long time and you've got to hold that concentration. And these little fellas, people like the Samba, they just wait for that opportunity. You cannot afford to switch off in a contest like this. Even if you're 10, 11 rounds up, these little guys like a Samba, you can punch. Look, you're whipping that shot in there, you see. So you've got to stay concentrated the whole way through. Cornered there, literally. And only missed by a bunch of fractions with that left hook aimed at the chin of Sonny Edwards. Oh, no, really. Super work there. The Somba being encouraged by his corner to throw that jab. That's a decent left hand to the body. And telling him to double it up. Yeah. But Edwards now is boxing first and third, so he's using the jab to try and draw the lead, then draw the, the counter from a Somba. But then he's countering that, so he's countering the counter basically. First and third boxing. Sonny Edwards. Technical stuff. Yeah, very good. Somebody being implored to keep the pressure on. Stay on the front foot. That was trying to tempt him in by dropping his gloves. He can curry. Second half of the fight. Changing tactics straight away from Edwards, just holding his feet a bit more, boxing as an orthodox. Trying to catch Somba now with the right hand. There it is there, look. Just holding his ground, so it just changes things now, but uh, that's a lot nice shot again. But he waits and he reacts to what's coming at him, does Sonny Edwards. He's not got big one-punch power, though, Sonny Edwards, so he has to rely on his speed and his mobility. Occasionally, a somber, he, he has quite a wide when he's boxing as an orthodox John, he's got quite a wide stance. And if Ed, Edwards then is a southpaw, then that right hand's got further to travel to the target, only a few inches more. Get him onto the back foot here, and Edwards letting the punches go. Just off balance momentarily, a somber, but doesn't appear to have been hurt seriously. Lovely, lovely, lovely balance, yeah. lovely timing. Timing was excellent there. So again, uh, just a change in his tactic. He started off holding his feet and, and putting a bit more meat into the shots. Now he's back on the move. So he's tried that. He scored with some good shots, but now he's back to the movement. He chops and changes as he goes through. Earlier, this is Sonny Edwards' seventh successive title fight of one sort or another. Four have gone ten rounds. His last contest went 12. So he's used to going the full distance, knows how to pace himself. Rushing in, trying to throw that left hand to the head. Did a better round for Edwards this after a couple of sketchy ones. Yeah, definitely took the round. I thought Edwards chopped and changed, orthodox to save ball, held his feet, feet occasionally to put more meat on his shots. But yeah, just recognised the situation there. Just jumped on the Samba, who just switched off momentarily. Good round, I thought, from Edwards, switching the attack, right hand downstairs. Asamba wasn't really hurt there, was he? No, it was a case of losing Edwards' favour. Is that right, Richie? Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. 
So Somba needs some big clear rounds, and he's realising the importance of that, and he's got him in a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange, which yeah. is where he'd rather be. Yeah, good start for the Somba. And we spoke about it earlier, didn't we, about getting Edwards onto the ropes, and that just restricts the movement a little bit more, and the Somba there jumped on him. Had a bit of, had a bit of success. But Edwards now carries on with the movement again. Oh, a bit of talking between the two of them there, not sure what that's about. Well, the frustration is definitely from a somber, and he's probably speaking to him. And um, Edwards has, has responded, but it's very important for Edwards not to be drawn into that. Michael Edwards told them just to get on with it. Oh, hello. Once again, a few words exchanged. Somba wants to wants him to stand in front of him. Yeah, exactly. He would see as a proper fight. Yeah, of so course, why would Edwards do that? Exactly. Oh, he caught him there, though. Yeah, he's trying everything to get Edwards to stand in another fight, and uh, he's trying to get into his head a little bit now. Edwards, if Edwards holds his feet, John, it's a totally different contest. It really is. The Somba's got a, more of a chance. There's that right hand, you see, That's from two, two years. It is, but it's too far away, you see. Edwards is the southpaw. He's got that wide stance. He throws it again, and he falls short. You've got to try and edge up and get closer to him when he's throwing that shot. The Somba frustrated. And that's what those little exchanges, I think, were all about. And Edwards responding as much as to say, well, the onus is on you, come and find me. Right hand missed there again. That left eye. Yeah, let's have a look. So he launched in with a shot there, didn't he? Somber. Talking to each other. There was a nice right hand from a somber. Very quick attack. And from another angle. In a close round. Oh, that was from Billy Joe that night. It's a very big puncher indeed. Well, Edwards is surely now significantly ahead on the cards. He's got that last one level then. I thought it was a level round, John, yeah. That's good advice there from the corner. You can clearly hear it from uh, yeah, Grant Jordan. Smith saying, "Don't get carried away." You know, they know they're in with a dangerous opponent, but up to now, Edwards is boxing very well indeed. Just on the odd occasion, he gets drawn in. Asamba still trying to find a way to cut off the ring and land one of those big overhand shots. Not really landed too flush with anything so far, and the odd punch which has got through, Edwards has been able to ride it and take it well. Edwards is predominantly a counter puncher, he just wants his opponent to come forward. And what he does, he it's a bit naughty. The referee will have word in on that. It said break, still through the right hand. More frustration than malice, I'd venture to suggest. But you can't do it either way. As Michael Alexander reminded him. Well, 
Well, what I do like about Edwards' his work as well, John, like I said, he's mainly a counter puncher, but you know, he, he works well with the jab on the outside and he waits for the response and then he counters that first and third. But if you don't come with your attack, he'll just step in and beat you to it. Looking for his 15th consecutive win as a pro tonight, Sonny Edwards. It's good doubling up with the South Southpaw lead. The somber though continues to stalk it, trying to get into a position to land one of those big hooks. I know he's, he's really, John, he's, he's taking a few risks here. The way he's coming forward, still quite slow with the feet. He's got to watch he doesn't walk onto the uppercut now. Look, there's a little left uppercut there on the inside. Somber, the way he's coming forward, needs probably more head movement. Very difficult for him, he's frustrated, he knows he's got to get up close to Edwards, but doing it and avoiding the shots on the way in is the problem. Well, he's got to find a big shot from somewhere, and if that means taking a few gambles, and that's what he's going to have to do. <laughs> the action from that ninth round. Yeah, a little bit scrappy from a somber. He's a little, just a little bit frustrated there. Let's have a look at it here. Heads go in, and then the right hand comes. There it is. There. Yeah, he's heard the referee, but he's just frustrated. Close and land those big shots. Hasn't happened so far though. Well, you heard Errol Johnson in the corner there say pressure, pressure. But it's it's. It's how quick that pressure comes, John, at the moment. It's just the feet are just just too slow. The pace is suiting um, Edwards down to the ground, and he's controlling that pace, and as long as the Sombers' feet are slow and coming forward like this, then it, it's bread and butter stuff, really, for Edwards. Complacency is probably will be his biggest problem because he's, he's well ahead now. Edwards has been sparring with Louis Norman in the run-up to this was beaten by a somber in six rounds and Norman was very much of the opinion that Sonny Edwards was going to win this and win it probably widely on points but he did say having said that there will always be a danger that a somber could land the big punch so far though it's been pretty much Edwards way Again, a Somber's corner encouraging him to double the attacks up. So he's attacked there with the one attack and landed a good shot. But they said, double up, go, go again. It's a case of one attack, slight pause, and then straight into another one. Wanting to work his way in behind the jab rather than just lunging in. And they're saying that, John, because at the moment the single attack from a Somber is just being dealt with from um, Sonny Edwards. Oh, lovely, lovely boxing that was then. Hitting on the move like that. That's a bit of class, that is. Somber for much of this fight has been simply chasing shadows. right hand from Edwards this time oh he just went over on his ankle there I've done that a couple of times John that's not good from Edwards got to watch now his movement he just went over on his ankle and that can be a problem because that will restrict his movement if that ankle goes well Asamba will realize how much is that going to affect Sonny yeah. Edwards? There, that, look at a little moment of the lack of balance there from yeah, Edwards. and that's why he's actually switched to southpaw now because he's not pushing off his back foot. You see, if he's an orthodox box, he has to push off that with that right foot, and that's when he went over on that ankle. I've done that before, so that ankle. And was this where it happened? Let's have a look here. He's still on there. his foot, didn't he? There he looks it. See how he went over there? Oh, nasty that is. Yeah, you'll have to watch that now. Boxing as an orthodox boxer. Look, there it was. There. Yeah. Yeah. Those ligaments. 
Well, he's got two rounds to get through. Edwards is surely well ahead on the cards, but how much is that going to incapacitate him in these remaining six minutes? He's up onto his toes again. Yeah. Somber going looking for him. Good. 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 For a fighter like Mike Edwards, and you can hear a Somber's corner telling him that he's tired now, get on him. But for a fighter like Edwards, balance so important, that sort of an injury could potentially yeah, he's be just, bad news. He's got, just got to be cautious now with his movement as Edwards. Oh, that was a nice punch. But a Somber he should be listening to his corner and should be trying to apply more pressure here. But, you know, we have to, that's better up from him, that's good. As soon as Edwards holds his feet, it's more of an even contest, John. And now he's having to hold his feet. Yeah. <laughs> or should I say a Somba's brought into it a little bit more. Because Edwards is, he can still box very well, even with static feet. Disparity between the two and sheer boxing talent, which has been evident from the outset. Somber trying to keep the pressure on. Yep. The seconds ticking away. Close around. I mean, we're going about Edwards' skills, but Asomba's a he, he's he's a talented boxer. You know, this Asomba, he can box as good as a southpaw as he can orthodox. It's, you know, I mean, Edwards. He's a real master at switching, but this kid as well, a Somba, he's not bad. Either stance, either style. But in both styles, John, his feet are just a little bit too flat and, 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 and slow. That's been his main problem tonight. Somba surely has got to find a way to stop him if he's going to win this. All or nothing, though, from a Somba. He's just got to go for it, hasn't he? He's way behind on the judges' scores. Just got to try and catch Edwards as he's coming forward, which is a very rare occasion. He hits and he moves side to side. It's difficult to pin down. So many times he's come forward and just been punching thin air in this fight, Thomas Asomba. Time will tell whether Sonny Edwards can go all the way to a world title. Edwards content to just stay away from trouble. Yeah, his work's done, isn't it? Some are getting through with the odd shot here. To catch Edwards clean with anything, you know, it's very difficult indeed. It's been an exercise in frustration, isn't it? He must feel that I've trained for this, I'm fit, I'm ready, I wanted to fight, but he's just not technically been able to find a way to really do so. That's more like.
second. There you go. Exactly. Pins him on the ropes. And this is where he wanted to be rounds ago. But you sense too little, too late. Yeah. To the centre of the ring again, Edwards. Well in control. Somebody being told to let his gloves go, let his hands go. But as we move into the last 15 seconds, it's not going to be. And Sonny Edwards is surely going to take this one by a wide margin already. He's celebrating, he knows that he's done enough. And with the final bell approaching, surely the undefeated record will continue. I thought, John, overall, that was um, an excellent display from Sonny Edwards. Very talented indeed. And uh, what impressed me also is he, his, um, his mental attitude. He's kept it going throughout because it's easy to get complacent in a contest like He's still fe he's feeling that ankle now. You can yeah, see him grimace. Definitely, but Adre adrenaline will kind of got him through it in the fight. Yeah, he'll we'll be feeling that later. It'll yeah. stiffen up. He'll have to have that strapped, definitely. Um, but yeah, he's boxed very well indeed. Very comfortable, but he's kept it going and mentally he stayed strong throughout the contest. Because in the contest like that is when you can switch off. But after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Marcus McDonald scores it 116 to 112. Judge Phil Edwards scores it 117 to 112. And Judge Terry O'Connor scores it 117 to 111. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still, IBF International Super Flyweight Champion, Showtime, Sonny Edwards. By margins of four rounds, five rounds, and six rounds, a comprehensive victory for Sonny Edwards.